Hello and welcome back and today I want to continue talking, you guessed it, like the millionth video, I want to talk about DSM-7 but I do think this Station 7, for all of its virtues, I have touched on it a few times, one of the things that I'm not overwhelmed by and I think a number of you would agree is what's happened with photography on the Synology platform. Now for those that aren't aware, I'll just summarize it very very quickly, on the, the original DSM-6.2, I say the original, it's no, by no means the OG but it has been a around for a while, DSM 6.2 um, had two photo applications known as Photo Station and Moments. These two applications, Moments is a little bit more chewable and friendly but featured a lot of AI powered recognition there in the background and it was quite a useful little tool for um, photo recognition, facial recognition, tagging people and such. If you are uh, more of a business led person or taking your photography quite seriously with shared albums, portfolios, maybe you're a wedding photographer and you like to host different albums to your clients, First Station was probably the app for you. It gave you the ability to create those albums. Let's go for, say, my niece's 16th birthday album here. It would give me the ability to have all of those photos, maybe even touch them up the tiniest bit. Let's go for a strange pile of cheese in this photo. You've got the metadata there in the background. On top of that, there were a few little bits and bobs that you could do in the background with regards to a um, few little tweaks and edits you could do to them. And then, of course, you could share the files in a number of ways in different social media platforms and more. And Photo Station was kind of the more business-led side of things. It was for creating those portfolios, for sharing, and the customization is and was absolutely huge. Lots and lots of options all built in there, all the way through stuff you can do. And a lot of people, when Moments was first announced, it was seen as, it's a good app, but at the same time, if we go back to my niece there, we scroll along, find that same picture, it was still good and you still had access to some of that metadata, but it was a lot more refined, a lot more uh, simplified. And it's lovely and chewable friendly and the application for mobile is still very, very good indeed with a few little bits and bobs with regards to auto color to enhance things. Um, light filter utilization and editing there. It was all built in. So it was two tools, one for the kind of home user and another one for the business. Now in DSM-7 that was announced uh, as much as almost three years ago for its uh, development process, one of the earlier things it highlighted was that they were going to uh, create one single photo application, Synology Photos. And this was to be these two applications, Photo Station and Moments, amalgamated into a single app, Synology Photos. Now, I've already talked about this in my DSM 6.2 versus 7 video, but I'm going to kind of go into a lot more detail about photography here because Synology Photos is a good app. This isn't me rubbishing Synology Photos. I think, one, it's tighter and faster than either one of the two applications I've showed you. Um, I like the two-door system. So up here, you can see there's a two-door system for if you're going to be using your own photos or shared spaces, which is kind of what you can classify as your business-led stuff. So if we go into the personal space and carry on, uh, we can go into the albums there. And we can, you know, this is the smart albums that I've got recognition with facial recognition being picked up there. Again, this is something that was featured in moments. If we go into the albums there, you had the people recognition. And again, if you had pre-existing people tagged, it was carried over. So you'd have a case of one person and all of the photos of that person being identified, both in moments and in Synology photos. I actually prefer the way they've done facial uh, tagging because in Synology Photos, you've got this smart filter system here where you can go ahead and say, I want all the photos of, for example, myself, Katie, and let's say Gerard, if there are any photos, or maybe with Charlie, and we can find these are photos that have those three people in them in one shape or form, or maybe Gerard instead or as well. Now, what happens is you say the year I want them in, then you can say the location you want them in, if you have multiple locations, and then you can take that information and push it into a smart album. All of that information readily available. And I like the way Synology Photos handles tags. And then all of those photos you just looked at can then become their own bespoke album. Something I'd already done by creating this one called G&C earlier. Where all these photos had two people, Gerard and Charlie, in every photo. And they were always in, and I'll be honest, I could have probably found a more flattering photo, but, you know, you play the cards you're dealt. Now, when it comes to that recognition, however, and this affects both the personal window and the shared window, you may notice that places has been recognised and people has been recognised, 
but subjects which again if we go into it here in moments recognizes things people items different kinds of drinks subcategories all that kind of stuff none of that is present here and that's because in the current version of sonology photos that isn't a feature that's enabled and there are actually quite a few smaller functions some more missable than others that are currently not available in sonology photos and i think Although Synology have published some guides on this, you go to their Knowledge Center and some of their tutorials, it is listed there, and they do highlight that a lot of these features may come back in uh, newer versions. It has to be said that a number of the more popular features are still yet to be completed. So I've written an article about this over here, if we go into it. And as you can see here from the left-hand side of the screen, I'll zoom in a little bit, you can see that Synology have broken down what features of Synology PhotoStation 6, um, what were in Synology Moments, and how they've been amalgamated into Synology Photos here on the left-hand side. You can find a link to this article in the description. On top of that, there's a list of information about what was migrated. So if you have PhotoStation or Synology Moments on your NAS, here's a detailed breakdown of what information will be carried over. But what I think is most intriguing is if I continue in my article down here, I'll pop up ad, there we go, you can see the features that aren't currently available. Now, some of these, as I mentioned, some people don't care. For example, slideshows. Slideshows isn't something people use that much anymore. It's nice that it's in there, but a lot of people aren't too fussed. But things like that subject recognition and particularly map view in photos is a real shame. For those that aren't aware, come out there if we go into photo station when you were looking at albums and again these are albums that have been indexed by my synology nas here this is the dx162 on xs plus that is not eligible color currently for uh, dsm7 right now at time of recording my albums are there and they've been indexed into photo station here but what's really really cool is i can make my way into the map view and from the map view it then identifies where all of these photos were, t were taken so now I can go there, that was me on a train in Croydon. So I can zoom into that there and have a look at the photos from that region. And the same goes for there. And the, this is a great feature. And I'm really surprised that this wasn't available in Synology Photos by default. It's still not there at the time of recording. And although it has lots of cool features that people requested, the folder view, for example, and again, the great shared space area where business users can do all that hosting, it has to be said that Synology Photos, despite being a very good app, I think has missed the mark on some of these features. And whether that is because of the development and the um, HDMI or uh, HTML or socket that's being utilized by DSM7, it's a real shame they're not integrated. I mean, again, some of these features are more important than others. For example, all the business of accounts and some of the system background settings, I think it's worth highlighting, as mentioned at the top of the video, Photo Station has a great configuration back end there. It has so much customization. Now, a lot of these might be argued that they're quite dated because a lot of these options have existed through previous generations of Photo Station through DSM 5, DSM 6, DSM 6.1, 6.2, etc. But still, nevertheless, some of these options are still being used. And on top of that, it has to be said that although a lot of these features have been amalgamated into the wider Synology ecosystem and Synology photos, not all of them have. So if you are a keen photo station user, I think you should tread carefully whether you're going to make your way onto Synology Photos because Synology Photos is a very good application. Once again, this isn't me laying into it. I think it is a very good app. I think it does a very good job of amalgamating the home end and the business end, particularly with that switch there. I love the filters. I like the fact that the AI photo, photo recognition, uh, album creation, smart filtering, all of that stuff is beautifully done. But if I was a business user and I wanted to uh, take advantage of the Synology's photography business apps, I think Synology Photos have still got a little way to go. Whereas, if I was a home user, and a home user that took advantage uh, in a big way of moments and really enjoyed the photo recognition, AI photo recognition, sharing, all that kind of view, all that kind of stuff, all of that that's built into it, 
I think you, as that user, are going to love Synology Photos. Because I think Synology Photos does a very, very good job of acting as an upgrade to that of Moments. I think, for example, the Places tab there did a much better job of uh, recognizing the geolocational data. And although in Moments you can play around with the settings, it's a little bit more oblique in how you can change the options. Whereas in Photos, a lot of the configuration options are more readily apparent and exactly, intuitively, where you expect them to be. But this has been a very brief overview of Synology Photos versus PhotoStation and Moments. The difference is what they both have, what they don't, whether you should migrate over, and whether it's time to make the jump for DSM 6.2 for you. DSM 6.2 is still going to be continued to support it for quite a long time, I believe. So don't feel that you've got to rush your way onto 7 yet. But future users that purchase Synology Nazis, more than likely in the next year or so, these devices are likely going to arrive with DSM 7 by default and are going to be near enough impossible to downgrade. So if you do make the switch, know that by doing it, it's going to be very hard to turn back. And if you're a photo user, it may be for the worse, at least at the moment. But keep an eye on Synology Photos and its updates over time. I think Synology Photos is going to get quite a lot of updates very, very quickly. And I may revisit this subject later in the year to see just how much things have changed between the release build of Synology Photos and a later, uh, several revisions later copy of it. But thank you so much for watching. Click like if you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe to learn more. Of course, go into the description to find the full can break break down there of all the link to this article here which goes through all of those differences all the things that have been carried over there's even a link to a walkthrough for migrating between the two of them and of course do check out my full review of dsm7 self-plugging aside i do think i've done a good job on that if i do say so myself thank you so much for watching uh use the free advice section at nas compares of course there's a link in the description and i will see you next time